Uh, hi guys, this is Deepak and I am representing group number 10. Uh, we use Indian economy data from year 1950 till 2013 and by using the data we tried to bring up some interesting facts and created these two visualizations. And let me start with first one. Here is a heat map that shows uh, the amount GDP amounts starting from 1950 till 2013. We can clearly see in early years and maybe till 1991 there was not much increase and after this 1991 when privatization started in India uh, we can see GDP in has increased a lot and uh, maybe 10 times or maybe more than that. Uh, let's look at here. So here is a, a, line, a line chart uh, line graph that shows GDP is increasing continuously and there is a service sector which looks like pulling it along a lot other sectors are also growing something interesting here we see that agriculture agriculture is the um, area where there are a lot of fluctuations uh, service sector looks like never came down very less fluctuation uh, let me try to put filter on GDP alone to see something interesting Okay, there are two points, there are two uh, years, 1965, where there was a war between India and Pakistan, we can clearly see it went down. Then 1979, to uh, in these two, three years, there was political uncertainty that pulled it down again. Let me go to the second one uh, that shows something interesting again. Uh, okay. If you see this line graph, it shows that GDP has been growing continuously and there is service sector which is pulling it along. Other sectors are not that much impactful, but look at this. The agriculture is coming down continuously. Uh, mining and querying has been almost uh, at the same level. Service sector contribution is increasing continuously. And that is the reason here we see service sector is kind of going up. Something more interesting here, let me uh, put a filter on agriculture itself. A and you see, right, whenever agriculture goes down, uh, it pulls the total GDP down to uh, too much extent. Whenever it goes up, it takes it up. But that's not the case with other sectors. Let's say service industry, which was showing here a lot of improvement, is almost steady. You see, there is not even though it came down many times the overall GDP was not impacted that much uh, you see any other uh, sector manufacturing even though it shows some trend but not that much in line as it was agriculture industry also same so I would say we can conclude that uh, there is a need to invest in GDP uh, in agriculture uh, sector for India and uh, hopefully that will improve our GDP rate uh, too much so by this I will stop here and thank you, bye bye.